What's up everybody, it's Spencer from Pixel and Bracket, and in this video I'm going to show you how to draw the international prohibition sign, also known as the no symbol, the no sign, the interdictory circle, the circle backslash symbol, or the universal no. Alright, let's start with a new document from the normal new document sort of dialog box. I can hit this create new, I can go up to file and then new, and the new document dialog is going to open up. 1920 by 1080 is my generic sort of artboard size. RGB color mode, and that's in pixels. Hit create, you got a new document. I'll zoom out so we can see it better, just a little bit more. There we go, we're gonna create that no symbol. So of course we wanna start with a circle. So let's grab the ellipse tool, that's under the short of, sh the short of shape tools over here. And you can grab it with the uh, shortcut key L or just by clicking and dragging and finding the ellipse tool. I'll quit talking. Okay, so by the way, I'm in CC 2018. That means I have the properties panel over here, not up top. You can go up to window to find any of the panels that are open up over here if you're ever missing anything or you're not sure or you're in a different version or whatever. Also under view, smart guides will help you align things. So I'm gonna find the center of my canvas. It actually shows up with those smart guides in the sort of pink color there. I'm gonna hold shift and option or alt and that helps me create a perfect circle out from the center. It just kind of helps uh, create it exactly where I want it to be. So how about that and I will let go. So that circle is just like one point and I can see in my appearance, yeah, the stroke is one point, it's black, and then the fill is white. You can also see it over here on the left. I'm gonna change that fill to nothing. So we're gonna put that slash through it, so no fill. And then the stroke, let's go with a red color because that seems to be the international sign for warning. And then the stroke weight, uh, we'll set it to 50 maybe. Yeah, there you go, that's a pretty good size. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back to that selection tool and how about I zoom in just a little bit. There we go, there's our circle. I need to put a slash through it. So I'm gonna grab my line segment tool and as long as I had that circle selected last, the appearance panel, my fill and stroke are gonna be the same. So I still have that red stroke and still have the 50 points. So when I draw something, it's gonna be that exact same stroke weight, perfect. So I'm going to once again find that center point Hold Shift and Option or Alt if you're on Windows. Click and drag and it'll draw a line segment out from the center. I'm gonna go past my circle to make sure I cover it completely. And then I'm going to go to the one side of it and because I have Shift held, uh, it's gonna go 45 degree angle. Perfect, let go, there it is. We pretty much have it, but I wanna combine these two. And one thing uh, that I recommend you do on every document is always, once you get to a certain point and you're gonna maybe move past it and make it not so editable, hold Option or Alt with everything selected and move a duplicated object of it out to the side. So now I have this old past version and I'm gonna move on with this one to really finalize it. Let's zoom out a little bit and move these two over. Uh, kind of like Aaron Draplin says, vectors are free. This is not gonna bog down your system to have a bunch of past versions and duplicate copies and editable versions. It's gonna allow you to go back and be more flexible. So I've got this guy selected. I'm gonna go up to object, down to expand. We're gonna expand the stroke. Uh, and actually, I just always check mark fill and stroke and hit okay. And that creates actual shapes out of it. These shapes are currently all separated still. You can see the separations in them. Uh, so I'm going to actually grab my shape builder tool. That's shift M, a uh, handy dandy tool. See it's got a plus. I'm going to hold option or alt and that switches to a minus. I'm going to just drag it through these extra points that I don't want. Okay, cool. Now I'm going to switch over to my selection tool, shortcut key V, select everything. Still separated, how about we open up the Pathfinder options. I actually have them down here in the properties. Pretty simple and easy. Uh, you can go to Window and hit Pathfinder and that's gonna open them up uh, somewhere on your screen. And I actually just wanna do Unite. It's going to unite all of those separated shapes into one shape and there we go, we got it, we did it. We have our slash no symbol circle cancel sign international warning sign label circle thing symbol thing. And if I want to change the direction on that, I could always just duplicate or create a second one or whatever. I can duplicate that. Remember, Option or Alt. And I can hold Shift and kind of lock that in and rotate it around. And now I have a circle slash going out to the side. I'm going to grab all these and just hold Shift and scale them down so they fit on my artboard. Perfect. Now, one other thing, because I have this editable version, this is sort of just a general design concept-y thing here. By the way, if you made it this far, you did it. Good job. Uh, but over here, I can actually edit this. So if I wanted it to be 25 points on the stroke, I can uh, do that and then, of course, duplicate that again and maybe recreate those steps to make 
sure it's uh, exactly the way you created the other ones and you have this editable version. So I just recommend doing that in general, but this is how you kind of make that warning label sign circle slash symbol. I hope you guys learned a thing or two. Like this video if you like this video or learned at least one thing, at least one thing. Uh, if you're not too annoyed by me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I'll be posting lots more tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Oh, <laughs>